Okay, here we are at the computer and these are the keepers that I selected, roughly 17 of them. Most of them probably won't make the cut, but what I do is I go through and I kind of just think, hey, this might have potential. And if it doesn't, once I start actually adding it, I just unflag it. Um, this, I was kind of liking the, the cross lighting here, almost backlit actually. And this, this lady here, I think if we, I'm not sure if I want to include, you know, you have that do not enter construction zone. I don't know if that makes it more or less interesting. You know, if we kind of get down, what's, what's the story here? Is it that? Again, 8 by 10, I'm kind of liking a little better like that. That's kind of interesting because you have this, you know, these flower bouquets. And then right behind it, you have the construction zone. So that, play with the shadows a little bit, that might actually be okay. It's sort of a contrast. It's one of these things, eh, obviously black and white. I like the colors. I shot it because of the color. So that's definitely where we need to go. Highlights are a little blown out, like on the shopping bag, plastic bag she's carrying. If I bring them back and then bring the whole thing up, think we'll be okay like that. It was autumn when I shot these, a couple of week, few weeks before Halloween. So really, again, this, this was more about the repetition and the lighting. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in there. I want, I want some shadows. And I'm not really sure if, and I don't really want like some sidewalk there. I kind of, I want the whole thing to be about the pumpkins and I don't know if this is gonna work this pumpkin down here is cool it's got some stuff going on there these are kind of going in different directions um, so maybe something in there could work I don't know maybe not the shadows I almost want the lighting to be more um cross lit almost harsher like earlier in the day kind of thing this i just like the texture and i i do like this lighting here this 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 is one of these where it's not about the repetition maybe it's just more about this single pumpkin here that's kind of neat i like that 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 has potential again i wouldn't necessarily print it take it to an art show I don't know maybe I would it definitely is different than what I normally shoot when I'm out on the streets but here is I'm trying to shoot through multiple windows I'm shooting through a window and then through another one so you got these reflections and I just saw this woman waiting here with her bag and then you have this harp right here it's just all the question is can you can you kind of figure out what's going on? And I'm not really sure if you can. And sometimes I want the viewer to have to kind of figure it out for themselves. I don't want it to, to jump right out and slap them in the face. Um, and so maybe just catching, see here's where black and white may be better, that the color gets too overwhelming. And in black and white, you may actually see it a little better. Maybe if I went like this, kind of framed it, kind of like that with the pull there from the door and just some reflections kind of, I don't know, that's interesting. This is the same lady, I was walking across the street now, I had, you know, sort of made a loop here in the farmer's market and so I saw her like checking her watch and stuff and Again, I'm framing it. The only thing I don't like, you can't control. Is that person like actually pointing a finger? Huh. Can't tell what that is. That's weird. But this, you know, I don't know. For some reason, I, I really like it. And I, it's one of those things, what people tell me at art shows, like, I don't even know why I like this. I just like it. I'm not sure if I like the idea of, this is one where I'm really going to, have to play with the crop and 
like where do I want to place her because she's really the idea but there's some person in front here you know am I am I kind of doing this but this this is white here and that can be kind of distracting do I put her up in this but then this oops this becomes distracting here the uh, this white so maybe it's up here no because then you have a kind of a hard time I, I like this this black molding I, I need that to be in there to sort of frame so you kind of know what's going on again eh, that again maybe black and white on that I'm not sure but I I do like that and I'm not even really sure why um, we could certainly crop a little tighter yeah now it's we're getting a little too close I actually like it further away I I like in some of my shots I have a lot of negative space a lot of dead space and then I want people to yeah that's distracting up top none of this white is gonna work but maybe something like this I could always make this an 8x10 too. I'll come back to that. That one's going to... This guy looked cool. This guy, he was just kind of standing there. I think he was waiting for something. And I just liked his look. You know, there, th this building he's standing in front of is an old historic building. It used to be offices. And now they're turning it into condos. So there's a lot of work going on in there. And I... You'll, it's not bad. It's not bad. Black and white. Black and white could be cool there because then you really get down to the person and all this I want you to see all of that him covered there I like the pose better um, and it's one of those things again I'm always playing with crop like do I want him up here in this corner and it's that is it more about the building which I think it is you know yeah, but that that doesn't work either maybe over there you know it's okay then he went over and leaned against this wall and I walked away a little bit and I turned around and I think he knew that I was that I was taking pictures and I tried to be kind of coy like I was photographing other things and or doing video but I think he knew what was going on so he actually smiled a little bit that's kind of funny that rarely happens for me but that that right there let's see he's a he's a that's actually pretty cool I that's now we're going into street portrait area which I don't do at all but that again like right there to black and white is really nice the pop of the blue though I'm actually I'm actually digging that blue I don't want to saturate I'd rather do vibrance if you do saturation it it actually affects skin tones too which I don't want but I want that blue to pop I really want that blue to pop so let's go to this we're gonna choose the selector and we're gonna pick up the blues a little bit more in here which is gonna change overall because this was in the shadow actually so there's no sunlight very soft lighting I like that yeah I like it quite a bit the issue is going to be black and white or do I want do I want that blue in there I'm gonna put that up a little bit like that but boy that's really different than anything I've shot um, but then I kind of turned away and pretended I was moving on to something else I saw these people walking I thought huh I wonder if if we did more like a street scene like people walking by him I wonder if that would be cool I thought that definitely I would have to go black and white on this I just don't I don't want the distraction of the orange coat so I would go black and white um, actually I wish they were a little bit closer I think I have one that might be the closest that they were to him because I want the composition to be a little tighter yeah, and I can tell they, I must have kind of moved the camera away. They're a little blurry. I can tell they're just not very, yeah, that's not as sharp. 
so I must have been moving the camera too much uh, so that really I mean it could still work it's still okay um, let's see if the one before that was okay let's see how that looks that's a little better let's choose that as a keeper and go back so this is you know you're taking multiple shots and which is good and then you're trying to figure out you know which of the ones is going to work the best what's the story you're trying to tell which one looks aesthetically pleasing at the same time like that in, a, in its own way is kind of cool i'm gonna make it too bright but i want yeah that's actually kind of cool and a, obviously a totally different vibe than something like that where he's posing or here just waiting you know on the sidewalk for something there's with his head turned there's you know so i think i'm down to either that probably not that they're not close enough here they're a little bit closer i kind of like that you know i don't know i don't know definitely not something i would print but I find it interesting documentary kind of work. This is cool. I saw this woman with the scarf. She actually passed me. I walk pretty slow when I'm doing street work and uh, people are passing me all the time, which is fine because usually that means I can get like cool hats or accessories or shoes. And this woman walked by with this scarf and she's, I'm, I'm kind of walking and I'm trying to stop for like a brief second and take the picture before she gets too far ahead. So there's a little bit of movement and I'm actually digging it. I thought it might not work, but that looks pretty cool. I like that. That That's one of those shots. What year was that taken? You know, it's one of those. Was it Was it today or was it 40 years ago? Now it just comes... A, it comes down to contrast black white and so i want you to notice this is a theme for me L look at what i'm doing this is the picture that i took that's what i'm focusing on i'm cropping r you know very tight on it um because i don't want a lot of distraction i want that what was my iso 200 but it's got a very weird retro feel to it and I don't think it works in color nearly as well as black and white. I love color. I love color. But black and white, that just screams black and white. That's very interesting. Um, especially with the glasses. I think the glasses, too, I like. I have one with just the scarf, but I like the glasses. They kind of give it a cool vibe. This is, I like windows. I like reflections through this window. And this is, these are some window panes that are different angles. And I thought maybe I could just do something with the, with this and call it like farmer's market or something like that. But it's got this white truck and I want more vendors. You know, since this inspires me to do something else, to do a different type of photo or to keep this place in mind. And when I go back to remember this and go back, maybe when it's busier, when there's actually more tents over here and things like that, you know, I'd want someone like over here doing something. So that one's just not going to work. This is more shooting through a couple of windows and then like one of the windows actually was reflecting the pumpkins that I'd shot earlier. Um, but through this restaurant, I almost wish there was something on this table. But this is very interesting too. I'm intrigued by it. I'm not really sure what to make of it. It's one of these where the viewer kind of figures it out for themselves almost. I kind of wish someone this restaurant is never open i think during the actual farmer market farmer's market hours but someone was sitting there there was something here it's a lot of bright negative space that's my only issue with that but i like this up here you know you know i don't know if i want that blue in there it's kind of distracting again i kind of just take the take the crop tool and i just kind of move things around that's a little better. I don't know. Probably not. Here's these boots this woman was wearing. I thought those were interesting. They were in direct sunlight. And so my settings kind of blew it out a little bit. 
So we're definitely gonna have to bring this down a little bit, bring the highlights down. And there's a little bit of movement in there. I kind of like the cigarette, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Give me your thoughts on any of these. Any of these I go through, please give me your thoughts. Like that was a good one or you, you know, you unflag that one, keep that one and work on it some more. Maybe you should turn that one to black and white or it's, it's always good to get other people's ideas. I can try. This is one of these where it, the cigarette, does a cigarette add anything or am I just about the boots? You know, is it about the boots? I kind of like the cigarette. It adds a little bit more to it, but it was, I was moving the camera cause I was walking and I'm, so sometimes they get black and white color. I kind of like the color because then you kind of see the, you see the blue and white of these jeans, which is kind of cool. So that's, that's what I came up with. That's, that's what I have. So, uh, um, you know, if I go through these quickly here and, you know, I sometimes, and I'll come back to these in a day or two and decide like, is this worth anything? Am I, am I going to, one, am I going to post it on social media? Two, am I going to put it in an upcoming book? Or and or three, am I going to print it and sell it at an art show? I don't see me doing that with that one. So, you know, we're going to unpick that one. That one I could see going to an art show, but not not in a book not on social media. But I think that's cool. Um, book potentially. That's cool too. Um, social media for sure. I'll try it out. That one probably not. That one probably not. That one yes. That one probably yes. Um, that'll go social media. Maybe a book. Um, that one would only go in a book. I wouldn't take any of these tired shows, obviously. Um, That'll probably get unpicked. Not gonna do anything with that. That's cool. That'll that'll definitely go in a book. I'll have to decide if I want to take that to an art show. That's cool. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with it though. It's just not interesting enough. That's cool. Um, uh, yeah, I I don't know. Definitely wouldn't print it. Wouldn't go on social media. Probably not in a book either. That I'll play with it. I'll see. Probably not. So. You know, for, so as far as like actual shots that I'm going to do something with, one, uh, probably two, three, four, five, six, probably six. That's actually really good for an hour at the farmer's market. So give me some comments down below. Let me, let me know what you think of these photos. Good, bad questions, things I should do. Hit that subscribe button down below. Check out my other videos. I don't have a lot, I'm just starting out. So I need some comments, some likes, some subscribes, things like that. Check out my affiliate links on my website. And we'll talk to you soon with another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.